Welcome to Crypto Tonight, the internet's newest and most craziest crypto news program. My name is Darko and I'll be giving you my unprofessional and irrelevant opinion this evening. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and retweet this video if you haven't already done so. Before we begin, a quick shout out to Journey to 100,000 k the crypto YouTuber who shared my last video on KuCoin the other day. By him sharing and helping me to expose what was going on in the KuCoin contest, he created and attracted so much controversy on my channel and controversy creates cash as we all know it. So a big shout out to Journey to 100k, you can check out his channel on the link below. And also one more shout out to Stefanos from Greece, who helped with the Crypto Tonight Telegram group setup. Thank you very much for helping me with my channel. Shout out. Now to the markets, Bitcoin is at $7,001, down 6.14%. And amongst all the calamity this week, Bitcoin has a dominance of 47.4% amongst the rest of the markets. Just a quick technical analysis, Litecoin is really struggling to get it up. I think it needs a really good pump at the moment. The biggest loser of the day is Walton Chain, $3.56, down 13.24%. Biggest winner of the day is IOTA, up 3.79%, sitting at 94 cents. It's been a few days since my last episode and I'm really, really excited. In fact, I'm so excited to be back that my nipples are hard. Now let's go to question of the day. Question of the day, do you check coin market cap on your mobile phone while sitting on the toilet? I know this guy doesn't. Time for some breaking news. Coin market cap says data glitch boosted its crypto price numbers. This happened a couple of nights ago and I actually witnessed that unfortunately I didn't take any screenshots because I was too busy playing PlayStation 4 at the time. But I saw Bitcoin jump over $1,000 in a matter of a minute. Some exchanges reported that Bitcoin's value, according to CoinMarketCap data, was selling at $73,000. It was crazy. A lot of people thought it was the start of the bull run, but I had a gut feeling it was either a technical glitch or something a little bit more suspicious. CoinMarketCap now seemed to have rectified the problem. Australian state grants crypto startup 100,000 to boost tourism. The company Travelbit designs tourist routes on which travelers can spend crypto and also provides a crypto payments platform for merchants. This is all part of a process that's trying to make Brisbane Airport in Australia a more crypto friendly airport. Turkey establishes country's first university blockchain center. Now here's some good news for everyone involved in crypto. Mt. Gox creditors update basic terms of upcoming civil rehabilitation plan. So the payments in compensation that were meant to be made back to the people who lost Bitcoins. Originally, the people who lost their Bitcoins in the Mt. Gox calamity were refunded or partially refunded in fiat. But now a new court ruling has declared that they can receive their money back in Bitcoin. So this should stop any further future sell-offs. So this should prevent further dumps in the future by Mt. Gox creditors when paying back the people for compensation. Now I've got a coin review coming up. Now this is a really, really interesting project. Aircoins, what is Aircoins? If you have a look here, you see this dude with a mobile phone pointing at the ground that's showing a uh, Bitcoin. So think about Pokemon Go, when you're walking around with your mobile phone looking for little Pokemons, but instead of Pokemons, you're finding crypto coins. So Aircoins is basically augmented reality on your mobile phone in finding digital currencies. In one month of its release, Aircoins has had 3,700 app downloads, 17 million coins dropped, 1.2 million coins claimed, over half a million social media hits, 220,000 transactions, and partners total $100 million market. Coins drops value is $350,000. So far, Aircoin partnerships include Redcoin, HTML coin, Apollo, Electrocoin, Diamond, Fanfare, Original Crypto coin, Linda, Pack, Bitcoin Black, Digit, Postcoin, Light Years Token, and Travel Coins. If you have a look at the pictures here, you can get an idea of what to expect when using the app. The total supply of Aircoins is 10 billion coins, 
You can check their website for more information and they have a Telegram group with their friendly admins who are more than happy to help you and answer your questions. I have actually tested the app myself. It's a lot of fun, except for there was a couple of times where it told me to walk into the middle of a highway to collect a coin. I didn't do that, I'm not that silly. The other funny part is, sometimes when you're going for walks looking for coins, you actually have to break into people's houses to get into their kitchens to get to the coin. So yeah, that part got me into a little bit of trouble. So that basically wraps up Crypto Tonight tonight. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and retweet. And please don't forget to leave a comment to the question of the day. Do you check Coin market cap on your mobile phone while sitting on the toilet. Until next time, rock on! Now!